Hey guys, it's Allie and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be trying the Wet n Wild Prime Focus Primer Serum. It's been out for a while. My sticker still says new because I got it a while ago, but I have not tried it. So today was the first time of me trying it. I do obviously have it under all of this makeup now, but I kind of, kind of put it to the test. I didn't have as many hours of wear time just because today was one of those days. One of those days, guys. I don't, I might have footage of like lights knocking over, potty training my baby. We got a puppy, so gotta worry about the puppy. There was just so much going on. But anyway, enough about my day. Let's focus on the primer. If you wanna see me put this primer to the test, just keep watching. All right, so I do not have anything on my face right now besides moisturizer from this morning. Obviously, I do have eye makeup on from 10 o'clock this morning when I was supposed to film this. So this goes for $7.99. Okay, so it does say to wait a couple of minutes. It says wait two minutes to, for serum to absorb before applying foundation. So let me apply this and then as I'm waiting for it to absorb, I will read a little bit about it. Looking at it, it has almost like a, like a pearlescent sheen in there like it has some sparkle okay so it says one to two pumps i'm gonna start with one i feel like one to two pumps is a lot but let's see not drops it says pumps so that's a full pump we're gonna just start with one it's very obviously liquidy i definitely smell the green tea and the rose i'm gonna just like work that in i i definitely feel like one pump was more than enough for my face it feels good it felt like water going on i feel almost like a tackiness now that it's getting absorbed let's leave that be so let my skin absorb it let's read a little bit let's close this back up because knowing me i'll probably end up spilling it somehow it's super super liquidy i don't know i guess i felt i was expecting it to be almost like an oil serum but it's definitely watery and it says Water-based, so hydrating water-based serum formulated with rose water and green tea extract refines and nourishes as it preps and primes skin for extended makeup wear. Now, I did originally plan on testing this out early this morning. That didn't end up happening, so it is late in the day. It is 3.34. On the Wet n Wild website, it goes for $7.99. You get 30 milliliters, one fluid ounce, which is like the typical amount for a foundation. So I feel like you get a good amount. Yeah, it says one to two pumps. One pump seemed like more than enough for me. So on the website, it says other things than what was on the actual bottle. It reads, a lightweight, ultra hydrating water-based serum that preps primers typo wet and wild and refined skin for longer lasting makeup application formulated with skin nourishing ingredients including rose water camellia leaf extract and green tea extract that moisturize and smooth the skin the silky creamy texture creates the perfect canvas for a smooth even complexion so that foundation glides on effortlessly for a luminous flawless finish it's supposed to blur and soften imperfections leave skin feeling soft and hydrated without a greasy residue refine skin for flawless and longer lasting makeup application lightweight and ultra hydrating so i think it's been a couple of minutes now with this primer i am actually going to go in with the wet n wild photo focus dewy foundation i love absolutely love 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 the original photo focus and the dewy foundation quick little update i guess it feels very very nice on my skin it feels super lightweight my skin feels smooth it feels like hydrated doesn't feel sticky as it was drying i was like oh, i think i feel a tackiness but you can feel if you like go and touch you can feel that there's something on your face but it doesn't feel sticky or anything like that at all let's ignore the eyeshadow that's been on for a while but looking at my face, yeah, I feel like my skin looks like the same. I don't see many like pore filling or anything like that, which it doesn't claim to be pore filling, but as far as like smoothing and things like that, let's see what it looks like when I actually apply the foundation. So, but so far it feels really, really good. You can smell something, but it's very lightweight. It's not like overwhelming or overpowering at all. Okay, so I'm gonna apply the foundation with this makeup brush this is by i think it's by crown brush or i don't know but one of these brushes and i'm gonna just like put a few dots everywhere don't mind my blemishes it's it's been a uh, a struggle watch my skincare journey if you'd like and let's just go ahead and blend that out 
So I love this foundation, like I said already. It's one of my favorites. I was thinking about doing half with like a makeup sponge and half with a brush, but my makeup sponge was dirty and I'm just, obviously my time is very limited. So I just, I'm using this, but I love that foundation with the makeup brush and with the sponge. That looks very nice. I just put one layer. I am going to put a second layer on. It feels really, really, really nice on the skin. I have to say. I feel like the foundation went on beautifully on top of that. Let me do another layer real quick and go from there. Oh, another thing that I wanted to point out was that you did see in the bottle that you had that like iridescence, that like pearly sheen. But when I put it on, it didn't like my face didn't look glittery or sparkly or anything like that okay i'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup but as like an immediate first impression it felt really really nice on the skin obviously it was like watery so it was a little tricky to apply but it, it's fine um but yeah no it, it felt really nice on the skin and i feel like the foundation went on top of it really quite beautifully okay let me do the rest of my makeup and we'll see here we are okay so i went ahead and did the rest of my makeup if my brows look a little crazy forgive me i was trying a couple of brow products but let's focus on the face shall we i believe that i put my foundation on about an hour ago i do apologize that i don't have like a full day wear test i do have to say the foundation went on beautifully as you saw the other makeup went on beautifully on top of it i feel like honestly with all these lights and this mirror it looks great but when i did step into like the bathroom and other rooms in my home it looked really good i do have to say too i mentioned it was not like pore minimizing or anything but I have really large pores on my nose and after I put the foundation on and I took a closer look you couldn't see my huge pores but let me zoom in a little bit again ignore my brows but let's look at the face also ignore my imperfections I think it looks pretty good definitely pretty good I want to see how this wears with like a more matte foundation or not a dewy foundation but honestly so far i'm not feeling i know it's only been an hour but so far i'm not feeling any type of like greasiness or seeing like reflection where i don't want to see it i don't feel oily yeah so far i really really like it i'm gonna try to do one more check-in before the end of the night but i just wanted to show you guys but otherwise off of this first impressions i really really like this so far quick little update it is 8:35 right now excuse what this looks like but i since filming i've had dinner took the puppy out bathed my girls which included lots of splashing i've read bedtime stories put the girls to bed got a little bit stressed i did um rub some of the foundation off right here on my trouble spots I said if I could update, I would, so here I am. Anyways, it's 8.35, and I just wanted to show you what I look like because besides the mascara flaking <laughs> from just, like, rubbing my eyes, laying down, trying not to fall asleep while I put my babies down, besides the splashing and all of that, I feel like my foundation looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. But again, like, this is a mess just from I was rubbing my eyes, and <laughs> I'm telling you, I was, like, falling asleep. But besides all of that, I feel like my my skin looks good like the foundation looks good it doesn't look oily or greasy it hasn't like really <laughs> come off completely especially given the circumstance i think it's pretty good so 8 35 what time did i put it on oh no, no. today was a blur what was it for it's four and a half hours right but i think it looks pretty pretty good so i think i found a new favorite primer from wet n wild so overall, I really like it, and it's $7.99. Wet n Wild always, like, amazes me because I've really never had an issue with any of their products that I've used, and it's so affordable. It works so well with me. Like, it just agrees with my skin, my eyes, everything that I've used. But this serum, guys, honestly, it feels very luxury, like very luxurious. It has this glass container. This dropper is great. The packaging is really, really nice. It just seems like really good quality. And wearing it now, it feels great. So $7.99, you get a good amount. And so far, I love it.
it's interesting because if you haven't seen, I do have a video where I try out like a $74, $75 primer with like gold in it. Let's just say I would 100% pick this one over the other one. This is great. It's beautiful. I love it. I really do. If there's any type of change in my opinion, I will be sure to let you know. But if not, I feel like this is going to be my new go-to primer. Let me know if you guys like this. Have you used it? Have you been thinking about it? Do you hate it? Tell me everything. And let me know if you want me to try other products, if you like seeing these types of videos. But otherwise, it's another winner from Wet n Wild in my book. They're so good, honestly. I'm super happy with everything, with the price, with the packaging, with the performance. Very, very nice. So way to go, Wet n Wild. But yeah, that does it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you aren't subscribed already. Ring the bell for notifications and be sure to stay happy and I'll see you in my next one. But the Wet n Wild Prime Focus, uh, what is it? Primer Serum, okay. Okay, are you okay? Yeah. Okay, don't play. Okay, go put a bit, ask your sister to help you or you do it by yourself. Can you close the door, please? Today's been a day, you guys. Today has been... Oh my god. Lord, give me patience.